Hey guys, and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at a older Sony Handycam, and today we're going to go ahead and upgrade to a solid state hard drive. This is 128 gigabytes, so we're more than doubling the hard drive space. Uh, these things you can still buy on eBay for about 130 bucks, roughly. Uh, you can also still buy a lot of accessories for them. You can still buy the batteries. This is the NPFH60, and you can get these uh, little adapters that will fit into the top here, the top slot. Um, so that you can mount a mic, an external mic, to the camera and record with higher quality quality audio. Uh, these things are still really great. They record 1080. Um, you can get newer ones that do record 4K, but for 130 bucks, if, if uh, 1080 works for you, then these are still fantastic cameras. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get set up here, and we'll tear into this and put a new hard drive in it. Okay, so the first step in taking this thing apart is to remove four screws. As you can see, there are two screws behind the two covers on the front, as well as two on the bottom. Total of four screws, and to get those off, you need to unstrap the hand strap. And then you can remove the screws in any order you wish. Be careful not to drop them into the mic jack or the headphone jack uh, when you take out the, the screw on the front. As you can see, there's the hard drive right there. It's got rubber bumpers to help insulate it if it in case it falls. You can pull those bumpers off. We'll reuse those on the new hard drive. As you flip the hard drive over, you will notice where the ribbon cable enters the hard drive. There's a little black tab right there. That little black tab flips up. Takes me a few tries here, but uh, it just pops up and then the cable will pull free. Once you pull the cable free, you can set the old hard drive aside, grab the new solid state hard drive, and with the backside facing up, you can insert the ribbon cable. Do it carefully, make sure it's centered, make sure it's pressed all the way in, and then latch the little black tab down. The cable should be snug. With that in place, you want to reinsert the bumpers. And then you can press the hard drive back into its space. Now a quick note on this, um, you'll see when I fire this up that I get an error code, a data error. That is because I didn't get the ribbon cable lined up or pressed in completely. I ended up having to take this back apart and I investigated the cable, um, reinserted it, made sure it was all the way in, and clasped it and then fired it up before I put the cover back on to verify. I did end up getting another another error, and the error this time was a format error, which is fine. A format error we will deal with, um, but if you fire it up and you see a, an error flashing on the screen that's a format error, um, we're going to format the hard drive here in a little bit. So as I'm putting this back together, um, yeah, once you get it reassembled and battery inserted and powered on, you should see a format error when you turn on the screen. If you see the data error, take it back apart and uh, inspect the cable and make sure it is lined up, inserted, clamped down correctly. Make sure your hard disk is installed correctly, the right the right orientation, uh, and then and then we will format using the menu, uh, the internal menu. Okay, time to power up here. You'll see it boots normally, shows the hard drive access, and you know, it's blinking an error. And when I try to record, it shows data error. So at this point, I had to open it back up, reinsert the cable, then fire it back up again. With the hard drive inserted and it 
working normally, you should fire it up and you should see an error at this point that says something like disk format error, which is totally expected because we need to format this to match the hard the, the Handycam. So tap on the home menu, make sure you have the hard drive tab selected, hit media format, then tap the HDD button, that's for the hard disk drive. Format, say yes, confirm yes, and then it should format the hard drive. Now, when this is done, you will probably still see a flashing error. Um, and so what you need to do with the format done is to power down the unit and then remove the battery. Let it sit for a second, reinsert the battery, and then turn it on and you should be good to go. No errors at this point. And I noticed that it said the record time with the new hard disk drive in here is what 2000 some minutes worth of movie time. So that should be plenty enough to last you for quite a while. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos of fixing or upgrading or making things, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.